Axie Axie, half of Ashley's head. Yeah, that's exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's start it off. It's the Money in the Bank after the Money in the Bank. It's the Monday Night Raw after Money in the Bank. And of course, starts it off. Stupid Lesnar. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just give you the run of it. Go ahead. Brock Lesnar saying, well, Paul Heyman's doing the main talking, telling him how Brock deserves it. He deserves the title shot. Rollins comes out and says, oh, I want to fight you, Lesnar. And then Heyman's like, who says we want to challenge you? And then Kofi sh shows up. Basically, that's it. So, Brock has the pick between Kofi and... Yep. Um, and then this is the backstage with Sami Zayn. He's talking. He's talking with La uh, Lashley. He's like, please, please, can you can you help me? So open him up and stuff before I'm in a meeting. Can you help me? And Lashley's like, no. But you can soften him up for me though. Good yeah. luck. Yeah, he's got to fight him on the seventh. Yep. Sami Zayn ends up coming out. He's scared of life. <laughs> With Braun Strowman coming out. Yeah, Braun takes him everywhere, tears him apart, and then yeah. just throws him back in the ring. Yeah, because uh, Sami Zayn runs like a big baby. He runs out of the ring, goes all over the place. Braun Strowman bumps into Lashley, and then he looks at him, and he goes, I'll do with you later. And then going back up to Zayn, he gets back into the ring area, and he just pretty much finishes him off. He's uh, running power slam for the win. Standard procedure, nothing special. Yep. Wow, you got a whole bunch of papers just for Monday. And then Lars Sullivan, he just pretty much did an interview with us pretty much, and then the Lucha House Party came out, and he just pretty much demolished them, literally. Seriously, why is he going against the little the I minnows? Would imagine Lars Sullivan and Braun Strowman. That'd be a good match. That'd be interesting. It's a going against little people. Like, come on. And then it was Ricochet versus Cesaro. Cesaro has a new entrance. Which kind of sucks. It looks stupid. Why they have to force the breakup between uh, guess, the bar? Yeah, I guess Sheamus is on SmackDown. Uh, Rick, uh Cesaro ends up winning because Ricochet when he's on the top, the top, top he got caught in an uppercut. And then Cesaro did a backbreaker into a neutralizer for the win. Hmm. So. And then there was a Styles interview with Corbin. Just pretty much. You even write down what it says. Just interview. I don't care about Corbin. That's why. Uh, all I know is Styles smacked Corbin, and Corbin's like, you'll pay for that. Pretty much. Um, and then Roman Reigns is out. He pretty, he pretty much didn't even talk right when he got in the ring because Shane comes out. And Shane's just pretty much saying he's done with The Miz. He's focused on Roman now because it's going to be Roman Reigns or Shane McMahon. On the 7th. On June 7th. But oh, why? Yeah, because <laughs> Roman punched his daddy in the face, but... And Roman's just like, I hate spoiled rich kids. Yeah. Then as Roman walks to the back, the Usos come out. Yep. The so. Usos are in their match. So, yep, the Usos versus the Revival. <laughs> they keep bringing up with the Usiha in the... The Revival won. Yeah, that's a big shock. They, they stole a victory. Yep, they did, like, grab they grab the tights. Of the and Aurora. they pinned. What was that? And then they did... The Firefly Funhouse. They just pretty much did, like, a theme song, kitty theme song, and they went right and to... And they went to the Nightmare thing. Yeah. That's... Then we got a moment of bliss. With Nikki Cross and Becky Lynch and the Iconic showed up and Lacey Evans showed up. So then it ended up being a triple women's tag. Yep, a six man Becky, woman Nikki, tag. Becky, Nikki, Alexa. Well, we can't count, count Alexa because yeah, Alexa, she, the whole entire time she's sitting outside drinking her coffee. Yeah, because she's like, I, I didn't say nothing about being in the match. And then Becky's like, you could just stand there and look pretty. And that's what she did. She did. And then, yeah. So, yeah. Becky and Nikki cross one. Lex Bliss didn't do nothing. <laughs> she tried to get her hand raised and Becky didn't raise it. She's like, yeah. You didn't even do anything. Now, here's the big, oh, big reveal. Because Mick Foley was supposed to reveal the yep. newest title. 
And we think, Mick Foley. What is Mick Foley famous for? All his hardcore matches. What did we expect to see? A hardcore, yeah, a hard, the bringing back the hardcore titles, because yeah, now we're, we're seeing a whole bunch of blood and stuff. But then Ashley's like saying, if that were the case, Dean Ambrose should have been here, but now he's gone. Yeah. And Dean Ambrose would have held on to the title. Yeah, if it was a hardcore championship, yeah. But no, it's not. It's some stupid 24-7. Yeah, 24-7 where you have to defend it anywhere, any place for 24-7. No. Basically, he left the title on the ground and said, you can challenge the, te the champion anywhere as long as there's a ref nearby and they can take the title. So... So a bunch of superstars come in and fight all over the place, I'm trying to get it, and eventually... Titus O'Neil gets it. He gets it. Titus gets, <laughs> uh, gets a text out backstage by... by uh, Robert Roode. Robert Roode holds on to the title for a bit, <laughs> and then he gets ambushed by R-Truth, yeah, and R-Truth is the champion. Yeah, because R-Truth is like, okay, hide in, hide in the car. Oh, then he went that way, he went that way, and then you see a ref in the, car, in the limo, pins um, R-Truth the... T and then he goes in the car and leaves. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, I'd have been better if it was the hardcore title. I don't know, this 24 summer chap, do you? Do that's just, that is just for like gags and laughs. Yeah, it's not something to be really yeah. taken serious. Yeah. And then he got the Miz versus Drew McIntyre. McIntyre won. There you McIntyre. go, to say it. Yeah. Play more kid. Shane did cheap shots to the Miz, and then it made Miz chase him, and then he, uh, Miz is going back out to get Drew back in the ring, and he freaking hits him and puts him in the ring, and ends up into a Claymore kick. That rivalry's never gonna end. Miz and Shane, Miz and Shane, Miz and Shane. That thing's never gonna win until Miz wins. And even then, it's gonna be cool. It's, it's, it's coming stale. And then the main event, which is... Seth and Kofi. Versus Baron Loser. With Booby Lashley. Booby. Yeah, Booby. He's got man boobies. Uh, Seth Rollins and Kofi Kingston, of course, wins. Um. Then, then uh, Lesnar shows up. And so, next week, we're going to find out who he's going to go after. For yeah, because he's, he's out there, and he goes, Lesnar's like, no, 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 no. Next week, we're going to be here, and we're going to tell him who actually they're going to go against for the, for, for the break case. Mm. Yeah, who do you think? I mean, I would like to see it Kofi because he already went against Rollins. But then again, well, this, the, um... Even though I don't want him a champion at all because he just holds it and doesn't do nothing with it. Yeah, so he's a part-timer. He yeah, he's a part-time part -timer. Time champion. He's a part-timer. He doesn't do like Rollins or Kofi and them do. It's stupid. You want to be a part-timer champion to go after the other belts. Yeah, the other belts don't get as much wins. Look at the Iconics. When was, that, when was the last yeah. time they ever defended their titles? The last time, it was probably WrestleMania, right? It I don't, was. I don't think it was any other time. Becky uh, defended her titles on Money in the <laughs> Bank and lost one of them. Yeah, she did more. Now Iconics. So, this week on Raw, pretty stale. Yeah. Like a stale t t potato chip. So. Let us know what you thought of Monday Night Raw. Did you, do you like the 24-7 cha champion or you think it's stupid? I think it's stupid. Bring, turn that shit into the hardcore title. Who do you think Brock's going against? Kofi or Seth? Who do you want him to go against? Um, yeah. Can you see a Lesnar on SmackDown? I don't see him nowhere. I, I see him by You know what I want him to do? I want him to challenge them both. That way we have... Oh, we have two-time champion. That'd be interesting. That'd, that'd be messed up. He comes out next week and says, I want both. That'd be fun. It'd be Brock two belts. Brocky two belts. So, yeah. So, um. Oh, and Paul Heyman even said, you know what? You got, you know what? We'll see how you are when you're, we'll see who's the man in your relationship or something like that. Oh. He brought up. Oh, yeah, he Becky. brought with Seth. That's what made Seth get all fired up. Before Kofi Kings came up, that, that got him. Don't you mention Becky? Because remember, can Becky since she's the man? Yeah, but here's the thing. 
when are they going to end up having Seth and Becky team up in a fight? They need to do mixed tag team matches and do like a mixed tag team championship. That would be interesting. Mm-hmm. That would be interesting. Mixed tag team championship with mixed tag team people. Well, I w- couples have the couples fight with their husbands. Right? Don't you think that? Don't you think that? Mixed tag team championship? Mixed tag team? I think so. Mixed couples. Yeah, that would be interesting. Becky and Rollins fighting whoever uh, couple is there. Yeah, like Naomi and uh, Jay. Jay? It's Jay, right? Yeah, Jay. Jay Uso? That'd be interesting. Um, what's her name? Vega and uh, Alistair Black? But they, but they won't because Vega yeah, is... Yeah, because she's with Sienna Olmez. Well, she's manager for Olmez. Yeah. But, yeah. Let us know what you thought. Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. See you next time. Bye.